Thank you. Well, as many of you are aware, there are many essential workers right now who are putting their own safety at risk to help curb the coronavirus pandemic. And those workers can now get some free child care. Let's check in with uh, Christine Scarpelli. She's live in Simpsonville to tell us how this all works. I love this program, Christine. This is yes, wonderful. Can you really. imagine such a service? Yeah. Those essential workers, we already have to thank them. Kim Tolbert here. We are at We Rock the Spectrum Gym. We're in Simpsonville. This is in Greenville County. Typically a gym that is open to especially those children with special needs on the spectrum, disabilities. But now Kim is closing her doors to the general public, opening them for those essential workers and their children. Kim, what a cool service. Thank you. Um, doing this obviously because they have to be at work and serving the mm -hmm. public. Um, but you are doing your part to keep this place clean too, right? Yes, we are. We're following all the CDC regulations and then we're also doing our own um, cleaning and regulation, our own regulations that right. we always have in place, but also doing uh, that little extra. So we're cleaning in between our visits, we're cleaning in between um, every two hours, you know, depending on what our, our schedule is for the day. So we're following all the guidelines. We're keeping the number of people in our gym very minimal. Oh, really? Very minimal. And that's why it's very important to call um, for, or get in contact with us first and make an appointment so we can schedule you. Okay, so there mm -hmm. are some specifics here. How about maybe the age group of children and the type of child? Mm -hmm. How about if they have disabilities, are they welcome? Um, as far as age, it should be potty trained. So three and four on up, depending on, um, you know, the potty trained. Um, as far as disabilities, um, that's something that we can talk about because Good. it will depend on, you know, what the need is mm -hmm. as well because we don't have our full staff here. Sure. So that's something that can be discussed over the phone. <sighs> love that. Yes. I love that you're not ruling it out. It's, a, it's such a need. Right. We're trying to accommodate as much as we can with what we have right now. Awesome. This is all possible because of your nonprofit. Um, you guys have locations all over the country. It's mm -hmm. an awesome thing. For the, someone to schedule, is there a good way to do that? Is there a best practice to do that? Yes. The best way is to email us at info at we rock the spectrum .com. Very good. And I should ask, what do you do here? Is this a gym you're running around and playing? Yeah, normally this is an open play gym. <laughs> so normally we're an open play gym. It's $12 for three hours. Um, it's for kids um, walking on up. Um, those that have special needs, we don't have an age requirement for them. It's more or less a weight requirement. Okay. So under normal circumstances, we operate as an open play gym for those that have sensory needs and those that just like to play in general. We encourage play. We appreciate it. We hope most mornings seem fun. We bring you a little bit of joy. We try to anyway. Kim, thank you. We put all of her information as well as how to sign up at WSPA.com. There are also two branches we know of at the YMCA in Spartanburg that are offering some child care for essential employees. Not all branches in Greenville or Anderson, they're not doing that. But more again, check our website for that. Back to you. It sounds so good. Thanks so much, Christine. Appreciate it. And we'll be back with more Carolina Morning.